Hi everyone, it's Angela from Happy Dotting Company. Well, today I'm just so super excited to finally be able to bring you a new product. This has been a long time in creating. Um, you know, COVID has thrown a lot of problems at business and people in general around the world I know. Um, I'm just absolutely delighted that I'm even still in business. So I'm not complaining, I'm very grateful. Um, however, everything has been so much more difficult, but I now finally, after such a long time, get to bring you a new product. Okay, so what is it? Well, it is a pen holder. So this is the mold, this is what it looks like, and essentially this is the shape. This is how it comes out. So as you can see, this, this um, bit in the middle creates the void where you can put your pen. So this is the shape, like this. Now, the thing is, um, what's also great about this shape is that not only can be a pen or a pencil holder, but it can also be a single flower vase. See this one here? So this is some fluid art that I did on this one. Now, I've got some um, test tubes available that um, I'll be making available as long as stocks last. Um, I'll also be sourcing another type of these because these are actually made out of glass. So I do want to try and get some plastic ones available as well. Um, but you can probably also find something, you know, at your local cheap shop. Um, I had to um, make the hole big enough to allow for, um, you know, like layers of paint or gloss varnish or resin or whatever you like to use on your art. Um, but so there's a little bit of room in there to allow for some um, layers and also variation in size of these. Um, so what I've done is actually with this one, I'll just pull that out. That's actually a little bit of um, blue tack that I'll put at the bottom. And that just holds it nice and securely, no problem at all um, to allow for that variation there. So as you can see, this is an entangle style one. These don't actually have gloss on them that I've done so far. Um, that's because I've only sort of recently just finished them and letting them dry properly before I go putting the varnish on. Um, this is a Zentangle style. I absolutely love that. What I think is so great about these shapes is that they just make the most wonderful gifts. You can imagine, you know, for a teacher's gift or, you know, for your father-in-law or someone who's traditionally, you know, a little bit difficult to find ideas for. These are just great. So Christmas coming, it's going to be brilliant. Now, um, you know, I often get asked about a dome template and there is no specific dome template for this shape. However, um, I'm absolutely wrapped to discover that the dome template number three, so hash three, dome template three, um, is actually a really good fit. Oh, sorry, I'll get a blank on. It just makes a bit more sense because I'm going to show you how to put this on in a moment. Like that. But what I did is actually cut out the middle and I've taken a little uh, video of myself doing that so I can show you how it goes. So um, you do need to, um, you know, adjust it a bit. So, you know, it comes obviously <laughs> with the center in like that if you don't already have one. Um, and I did cut the center out because if you don't do that, it's just really um, a bit of a trick to align in the middle. It's nice to actually take that out and then you can see exactly where it lines up. So um, you'll see this on the little video that I did anyway, um, that I'm going to insert into this video in a moment. So, you know, I hope that you can see um, how great fun this mould is going to be for creating all sorts of um, gifts and, um, you know, different styles of art. As you can see, I've done dot art and fluid art and Zentangle style. You know, these, um, you could even, you know, just let your kids um, paint on these, you know, with Posca pens or draw on them for Posca pens for teachers' gifts and things. I just think they're great. This has been, um, you know, a dream of mine to create this one, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I've been enjoying it. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.